What's up guys, c 13 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the Zippo Glow in the Dark Zippo Logo Lighter. All right guys, so what we got here is the Glow in the Dark Zippo. Now this particular one is of course, Glow in the Dark Zippo with the logo. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, of course, this thing is currently available on Zippo's website for 34 bucks, but, but Amazon might be cheaper. And as always, I'll leave links in the description below. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so, you know, on the surface, it honestly kind of looks kind of muted. Like the Zippo logo color is kind of muted not really a bright green and you know the body just kind of looks like a I don't know kind of almost bone colored white if that makes any sense you can see that and then you do have a little indicate you do have a little tag here that says glow in the dark so that's kind of cool to kind of indicate that this is unique if we look at our date code we have a D of 21 so that's an April of 2021 Let's go ahead and take a look at our insert. So still honestly pretty good sound. That's one thing I was worried about with some of these colorized Zippos is what's the sound gonna be like? Because some of them do sound pretty muted. Let's see. Okay, we're reading an E of 2021. So one month off. If we check our alignment here, honestly, pretty close. I guess maybe it could be tweaked just a little bit in this direction. Let's check it case only. Yeah, you can see just a little bit off, but not hard to fix. In terms of play in the hinge, very little. Now I can't tell if that's just because there's a bunch of the glow in the dark coating on the pin. And you know, once that wears off, it'll be more loose, but still pretty solid from the factory. Let me just go ahead and tweak that hinge real quick. Make sure that it's good and lined up. Let's check our insert fitment. So yeah, that's a little better. Let's check if we're getting any wear or rubbing. Looks pretty good. No overbite or underbite that I can really feel. Maybe slight overbite, but really not much of anything. Now, of course though, we gotta try that glow in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my UV light and then I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up and then we'll shut the lights off see what it looks like. So I've dimmed the lights a little bit because I'm hopeful that this thing is still bright enough to where you'll be able to see it without complete darkness. But if not, I'll definitely turn off all the lights. So I've got my little Rovi Vaughn flashlight right here. We'll get this in UV mode and we'll charge this thing up. Oh man, I can already tell this is gonna look so cool. All right, we'll charge all sides. even the rim around the bottom. And then we'll do the top. Oh my God, guys, this thing looks awesome. So the thing that's that's so trippy about this is when you're holding it, because the, because the glowing layer of the Zippo is, you know, has depth and thickness, it's behind your finger, underneath your finger. And so it creates this illusion of depth that you don't get even with the, the different, you know, the colored Zippos, right? The color layer Zippos. You, this is something totally different. You get this illusion of depth, like you're holding a glowing stone or something. I mean, wow, that's cool. 
and then you know when it's open i mean that's true let me hear let me let me try something else now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn all the lights off and we'll try and see what it looks like so let me just recharge this Oh man, guys, look at that. And I, I just love the Zippo logo. Obviously they used a non-glowing paint there, but I mean, you can see that, that, that just looks so cool. That is nuts. I can't imagine what this would look like, you know, totally charged up and then filled, you know, when you light it, the flame coming out of it while the body while the case is glowing. Oh man. I love I love the Zippo, the contrast of the logo, you know, being there in that essentially in negative space, right? So you can see that you notice the Zippo logo because it isn't glowing. And I think that that is really cool. All right, let me turn the lights back on, guys. All right, so in conclusion, you know, what are my thoughts on the glow in the dark Zippo, particularly specifically the one with the, the logo. I really like this thing. Now, I don't know how durable this glowing paint in particular will be in terms of wear. I don't think I've ever had anything that had this, this much loom on it that was something that I was planning to carry sort of naked because the only thing I can think of that's got this sort of paint used on it on a regular basis is like a watch dial. But in that case, it's not really subject to wear. So, you know, that might remains to be seen, but I honestly think there's at least a couple times a month that I, I'll have to carry this thing because it's so cool. And especially if I'm going somewhere at night or I'm gonna be outside at night, this, this is gonna be perfect for that. I mean, so cool, guys. So anyway, guys, if you're interested, as always, I'll leave links in the description below if you wanna check it out. But if you liked the video, be sure to give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, your own experiences with this particular Zippo, the glow in the dark, it could be either the glow in the dark standard or the one with the Zippo logo like I have here. I'd love to hear anything you have to add. So definitely leave that in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more, don't forget to get subscribed.